us than you. There are many, many more of us than you. There are many, many more, many, many more, many, many more of us than you. We are black, white, Asian, and we're Jews. We are black, white, Asian, and we're Jews. We are black, white, Asian. On Saturday, August 10th, the streets of Newcastle were filled with thousands of people from diverse backgrounds and communities, united in a powerful demonstration against far-right extremism in the United Kingdom. Organized by Stand Up to Racism, the rally garnered widespread support from trade unions and grassroots organizations. We are not here to beg for acceptance. We are not here to beg for tolerance. We are here to demand our respect and our dignity. And as the old saying goes, we are here because you were there. The British Empire played the game of divide and rule across our ancestral lands for centuries to the cost of millions of lives. Then we were invited to come to this country and rebuild it after a war that many of us fought in. And what were we met with? More divide and rule. Our people faced terror on the streets and even had to fight for their right to life. We will not be passive victims whilst politicians and the media play games with our lives. We know that the majority of people in Newcastle and across the North East hate the racists and hate the Nazis. We know the vast majority of people in this area know that the only reason this is happening is because that nasty little Nazi, the ex BNP member, Tommy Robinson, from his home abroad, where he's an immigrant, by the way, um, is stirring up, he's stirring it up amongst the tens of thousands, the millions of people in this country. There are those cheering on from the sidelines on social media. They use language like, we want our country back. Are they telling the truth? No. What they really mean is, we don't like people with different colour skin. What they should say, if they were honest, is, Wah, I don't like it if someone's a bit different from me. Yes. Wah, it makes me feel inadequate. Yes. Well, get over it, you far-right snowflake. Yes. Get a job and work hard like everyone else has to do. Yes. And if you want better wages, Get organised and join a trade union. Every advance in pay and working conditions and better public services has come from trade unions and from working people coming together. Black and white, gay and straight, men and women, able-bodied and disabled, all standing together in solidarity. These riots, as well as being racist, are Islamophobic through and through. These riots started, these riots started because the fascists incorrectly assumed that the Southport attacker was Muslim. That assumption, which was later proved to be false, was enough for them to go and tear down this whole country. That is Islamophobia. Since the start of the riots, Muslim women have become scared. The uncertainty and anxiety of what might happen to us and our families when we're going about our day is all-consuming. Some of us didn't leave our homes for the first few days. Some of us still haven't. Some of us are struggling to eat and sleep constantly looking over our shoulders, avoiding eye contact with people in the streets and second guessing anyone who looks at us. My daughter cried her eyes out because I took her to nursery in the car instead of walking. Now where do I find the words to articulate to a four year old that I'm trying to protect her from people who purely hate her because she is Muslim and she is brown? We've seen communities from the ethnic minority having their cars upturned, yeah. being petrol bombed, being chased in car parks by chainsaws, yes. having their windows put through, having their mosques and Sikh temples, the windows of their properties put through and vandalised, racist graffiti that is too offensive to share on this platform spread across the entire nation. And we absolutely must remember that those who are denouncing these pogroms today are those who have been whipping it up for the last 10 years. Yes. Those who have played key roles in whipping up that racism, including anti-Palestinian racism, Islamophobia, and the terrorist attacks we are seeing on our communities, 
or the reason why we are stood here today, so please let's not divert our attention to the 30 or so drunkards down the road. Meanwhile, a far-right counter-protest occurred at the same time, drawing only around 50 participants. This stark contrast underscored the public's strong anti-racist stance. This is my city, as much as it is, there's down there. Today was fantastic, but this is not a one-off. We will not give up and we should not stand down until the message is fully received by the other side and we see change in favour of all communities being united. For the fascists on the other side of the road, I think there's about 30, maybe a few more of them. They're usually declassed elements of the working class, but above them are the people who've got the money, the motivation, the monopoly interests to fuel and fund the hatred uh, that these declassed elements have. Immigration is not the problem. And we have to get that message across because the legitimate concerns that people have are concerns about the NHS, about their jobs, about what's happening in education, higher education. And I think it's crucial that ordinary people unite to defend our interests over those questions. You've got to come to a realisation that Muslims, asylum seekers and refugees aren't your enemy. You may have a difficulty in your lives in terms of poor jobs, getting access to health care, access to, access to housing, but that is not the fault of refugees or asylum seekers. It's not the fault of the Muslim community. It's the fault of a fundamentally unequal society. It's the fault of the austerity, which has uh, attacked and hollowed out our public services over the past 15 years in a society, a government which has prioritised the, the rich. Why we are here today is we needed to bring out onto the streets the anti-racist majority, which we are massively the majority. And they try to use fear to make sure people don't, don't come out on the streets. But as we've shown today with thousands of people out here on the streets, we are the anti-racist majority. Black, white and brown here in Newcastle, all completely united against the racists over there.